If you were an avid TV watcher during the 60s and 70s, then I'm betting that this lady is no stranger to you. One of the first shows that I remember Karen Valentine in was Room 222, which also had another cutie in it. Yep, I'm talking about Electra Woman's sidekick, Dinah Girl, also known as Judy Stranges. But that's conversation for another day. Post Room 222 and a host of TV movies, I also remember Karen's amazing sense of humor that she routinely demonstrated on Hollywood Squares, as well as her short-lived mid-70s TV sitcom. That show itself truly was a saucy new role for Karen, but sadly, the only surprise of the season there was that this show received a quick cancellation notice from network executives. I really wish ABC would have given this program a little more time to develop. I also remember Karen from a handful of feature film appearances. Notable among those was her starring role in the fun Disney family comedy, The North Avenue Irregulars. So, what has Karen been up to lately, and does she still have those sweet as apple pie looks that made her a star? At the time of making this video, Karen is 74 years old, so I must admit that I was a bit curious. And here is my answer. You know what? While Karen certainly looks a little bit older, I got to say that she's every bit as cute as she was during her heyday in Hollywood. Karen's last appearance on television was in the movie Wedding Days, where she, along with John LaRoquette, play a couple of empty nesters whose three kids three grown daughters have come back home again. It's a fun little flick made all the better by Karen's participation. These days, Karen keeps a pretty low profile. But I did find this article, a recent interview with Closer Magazine, that Karen agreed to do in honor of the 50th, yes, that's right, 5-0 anniversary of the television series Room 222. And while I was reading through that interview, I discovered that one of the movies that she most enjoyed doing was a 1982 film titled Muggable Mary Street Cop, which was based on a true story where she played a decoy police officer in New York City. She felt like it was a huge departure from the typical roles that she was being offered at the time and a genuinely fun challenge. All right, now it's your turn. Please share your memories in the comments section while you're at it. I'd love a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I would be honored if you would consider subscribing to my channel. I talk about music, movies, and mostly TV from the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. You know, the good stuff. But most importantly, and as always, thank you so much for watching.